what a night. Emotional for so, for so many, especially that fellow, Adam Reynolds. His last game in Cardinal and Myrtle before he comes to the Suncorp as his home ground next year. There's Matty Burton. The two centres are on grand final debut. He and Paul Momorowski. Nathan Cleary then. One of, uh, I think it was six players named in the Dally M team of the year last Monday. And there it is, this magnificent rugby league stadium. Glistening in the night of Brisbane. And uh, as I said, it, it's the allowable crowd playing for that. The Proven Summers Trophy. Norman Arthur. The kickoff is there for your historic grand final. First played out of Sydney. Two Sydney sides playing in Brisbane, hosting for the first time. And Toa brings the ball back to the 10 metre line as Penrith go through their first set of the game. And in fact, these are the original touches for all of these players that are handling the ball. Leota gets it down to the 40 metre line. It's a, it's a good effort off a deep kickoff, and there's Yo getting it out beyond the halfway line. So that's really put the cement on this set. The kick from Cleary sailing down onto the eastern corner. Grabs the first tackle of the game on Fisher-Harris. Pretty sure Cam Murray got shook up in that big tackle on Fisher-Harris. Here, here it is on replay for you, Joe. And oh, yeah, it was an absolute cannonball. Uh, a shoulder... And his head went ricocheting from head to head. It was like a pinball. I, I hope he's okay. He looks okay. So there was a big moment at the start of the last grand final South played in South back in 2014. You couldn't possibly forget that. Between Sam and James Graham and Cam Murray was nearly about to suffer the same fate. Miraculously, he seems quite okay though. The kick to clear by South, running left to right. And uh, Penrith, of course, with Edwards bringing it back. They're running towards the northern end of the ground, down towards the Caxton Street end. To'o, 35 metres out from his own line. The grand final's underway, and Burton it is that gets it down towards halfway. The centre that plays in the headgear. To'o. I'm led to believe that Matt Burton wears the headgear as a memory of his great friendship with a youngster. They went to school together and he passed away, Sam Fraser, in a tragic drown drowning accident when he was only 16. So knock on, the referee asking, do you want a challenge? They say yes, this is... Jerome Luai is challenging. This is serious stuff this early in the game. Well, it's very early to be making a challenge, particularly on just a drop ball like this. Luai will claim there were hands on the ball. Let's have a look as he gets up. Frantic opening to the game. And the referee is saying it's before that that he feels he's lost it on the way down to the ground. There appeared to be nothing wrong with the play the ball action. So they'll inch it forward. I think he saw a bobble there, but it looks as though he's got his arm around it. I don't think he's lost control. No way. So maybe the challenge... Well, Time-wise, it was, it would seem senseless this early in the game, but they've still got to prove that that the referee is wrong. Well, I would think there would be far greater challenges to make later in the piece, but Jerome Lui is right. going to back a win here, is he? Tackle five. It's a Jerome. He has. Jerome. Jerome, last tackle. So it's come Wait down for heads Isaiah. for the Go Panther. Five. So they've got a challenge still remaining, having won that uh, challenge against Jared Sutton, doing his seventh grand final here tonight. And the try-scoring freak, Alex Johnston, comes down with the bomb. Chasing a 
couple of records tonight, Alex Johnston. He's level at the moment for most tries. He gets one, tries in the season that is, he gets one, and he goes out on his own as the, the best ever for South. So here's Nichols, who's played in every game. 26 games, I, I think it is, for Mark Nichols. Now for Cook, slithering and weaving his way down ground, just outside the 30-metre point. Reynolds, oh, he was really hurried with the kick. Penrith got out very urgently from Marker. Now Edwards takes it back. Cam Smith, it looks like incredible conditions. What's, what's the ground conditions, though? Absolutely incredible conditions, Rabs. It's dry, fast track. We've had some hot weather up here today. It's pretty balmy, as you see there, 23 degrees. And uh, look, at the, the crowd is just electric tonight. There's so many Rabbitohs and Penrith fans up here. It's going to be a cracker. So Cleary sweeps it away to Luai. It goes out to Burton. He'll play the ball, as you can see, on the western side, just inside 30. To the hands of Cleary and then back to Yo. Second man coming into the play, Edwards from the back. Put down eventually by Cody Walker. The grand final, live and exclusive on nine, and Cleary. The kickers are getting no peace. The, ch the challenges are there, thick and fast. And Taff, he's tackled back in goal, line drop out. Well, Andrew, this is very frantic. Both sides are cheating the 10 metres at the moment. They're right in each other's face. How do you handle that in the early stages of the game? Well, it's important as a halfback, the first 15 minutes of the game, you probably shouldn't get tackled. You just put the dinner suit on. In these big games, you, you've got to build pressure, organise your forwards, but your kicking game, that first 10, 15 minutes has to be spot on, like then from Nathan. I've got to say, the opening five minutes, they look better than they did last year, Penrith, far more relaxed. So here comes Fisher Harris coming back down the centre of the ground. So Penrith in good attacking position here. Can they find first points? Leota driving to the 30 metre line. Down the central corridor. Yo, Cleary, ball bounces and picked up there by Toto. Just outside the 20 metre line. Western side of the ground, then from Burton for Cleary. He goes short. Cameron Kirinia, Tavita, Lockheed Damien, go for. So on the short side, it's Luai, and then with Burton, and he's taken ball and all there by Campbell Graham. He's a good defensive centre. And then for Cleary, he puts it up. He'll be looking for Crichton. It's gone to ground, but they've recovered south. It's another line dropout. That could easily have fallen there for Luke Capel. Cody, Cody. It was dropped by South Sydney in Shot goal. Now, Cleary in the Cody. last few games has grubber kick to. towards the post. This time deliberately chip kicks in the air. If you get it comes chance, down. I have in, but Panthers are there. It was sure Leota that could have got the grab, but South Time Sydney cleaned it up. It was dropped by Gagai in goal. Plenty of pressure here early. It's a double whammy, really, from line dropout to line dropout. And Luai then sending it away to Fisher-Harris. Playing the ball on the first tackle on the 30-metre line after Nichols is finished with him. But I think he's lost the ball. Yeah, he's wrestled it off him. Big play. Well, that's a massive play. You feel as though you're having your second line drop out, having to defend your line, and your big baldy front rower steals the ball on tackle one. South Sydney then with Totola, the other prop. Here it was. A battle for possession. And Nichols wasn't going to give in. And came up as the winner. So we're up on the 40 metre line now. Penrose end of the ground. Murray sweeping it, Reynolds around the back, then to Walker. Clear space for uh, Paulo now. The 22-year-old, he's having a birthday today. He's got a hell of a crowd to his party. I don't know what the COVID restrictions are, but he's got plenty. Picked up by Martin. They started with him, Liam. 
And uh, Viliami coming off the bench. Well, Walker puts Paulo away down the right-hand side of the field, and I don't know whether he wanted a kick or a pass back inside, but he threw his hands in the air. He was so it was a lost, inch, he lost was, opportunity. He was calling for the kick. Mark up, Junior. To oh, oh. Go three. Eight minutes gone. Crichton. Scored a try against Melbourne and against South, so he's picked up half the tries. In fact, that Penrith have scored in the final series. All or most of them have been off kicks from Cleary. So the ball sailing down for Johnston. Wow, this is high intensity stuff. Here's the Telstra tracker, the 2021 season average intensity. It's metres per minute. You can see how quick the game is at the moment. Penrith well ahead. This game is lightning. He's one of the Bruce brothers, Jaden Sewer, bound for the Saints or bound for the Dragons next year. Reynolds at the line. And then away to Walker. That's Kalamatungi out there and getting it down to the 40 metre line. They play aggressively, the second rowers, Sua and Kalamatangi. Loose ball and snapped up by Totola. Bouncing ball there was almost grabbed by one of the Penrith defenders. This kick bouncing favourably for Graham. He's held and banged into the turf. So changeover. Gus Brian Toe. Only short for a winger. Can he jump for the ball in the air? Or does he s that one then he just planted his feet? Yeah, he can high jump the crossbar. He's very powerful. But sometimes he just chooses not to. He let that one bounce. Burton. Strong tackle from the front rower to Tola. So now, oh, that's Momorowski. Oh, Gago is gone. I think he's okay. He's bounced no, he's up pretty stumbling. quick. He no, is Gonski. So Yo, and now Fisher Harris. Marcus Cameron, Yo four. We try and get a shot of Gagai. Just watching, watching the the ball and Penrith looking for a gap. Last tackle, Marcus. There's Dane. Go last. He looks, he looks okay off those pictures. Cleary, bombs away, Taff. Great take. Yeah, that was a that was a floater. That was just floating around in the breeze, and he really attacked it, the young kid. Youngest, uh, youngest grand finalist in the NRL period. And here's uh, Nichols, almost to the halfway line. Cook sweeping it to Tola, giving it Murray with the ball. The 2021 grand final live and exclusive on nine and Nichols it is with the ball backing up backing up just outside 30 played to Cook and then Reynolds he puts a bomb up again down to top oh. and the man that uh, Brandon Smith christened concrete head is able to take it he's also I can assure you he's boosted the marketing the merchandising Department of Panthers, they tell me that he's the most popular of all Panthers. They all want, they want a piece of Brian Toto in the pink jumper, particularly. Oh, that's a big call. Now, Jer I don't think Jerome was going to challenge that, but there's a call from somewhere else. What's happening here? Sorry, not sure. I'd say oh, a trainer has stopped the action at the moment. I think it's Dane Gagai. Yes. Yeah. I think he's going off. Sorry? I, I don't think Jerome Luai was going to challenge that. And all of a sudden, someone's given the penalty for a strip. Gagai come flying in, got his oh. head in the wrong position. Don't tackle down there. I keep telling you. Ends up here. You keep tackling down there, this is where you end up. Going for a head exam. Times have changed, Gus. Okay, oh, I might have been saying it for 20 years. We, we got a replacement. Anyway, let's get off that. 
both teams look really confident, Andrew, don't they? Like they're really getting into their work. Well, there's no softening up here. They've gone straight into their plays. Plenty of ball movement, but the pace of the game. Incredible. Benji is out there now. 16 years since he generated that victory for the Tigers in 2005. It's a hell of a long time between drinks. He displaces Lottie Takiri, who was sitting with that record of 14 years prior to just now. So where does Benji go to lock, or has he gone to centre? He's gone to centre. He's gone to centre. There's some target there on the right for Penrith. Cody Walker and Benji together. They get some traffic over that side. Played there by Leota. And now for Lua. Here's Burton. To'o. He's only 10 out. He's 5 out. He's ducked under another To'o. He finishes a metre short. He's a dangerous ball runner. And players talk about the fact that he ducks his head, which limits just how hard you can hit him. But with great footwork and just determination, and he got him for a try there. Look at this defence. There is no place for the faint-hearted out there. Sydney versus Sydney in Brisbane. As I said at the top, historic night as the league tries to deal with this pandemic for the second year in a row. And they've done a marvellous job, as I said earlier, with the, with the help of Queensland, they've been able to survive. So that's Kalamatangi again. That young fellow, um, Taff, he's the most inexperienced, not the youngest fullback in the NRL era. Played there by Totola, given away on the short side. And South Sydney get it just outside their own 30-metre line. Reynolds inside 40, you heard the call, but it's well infield, over at the scrum line. A comment sideline, Cameron Smith. Yeah, I heard Gus mention earlier about the start by Penrith this year compared to last year, and you can, you can see the difference in mindset really around their defence and, and taking a lot of energy into their line speed, getting up involved in the Rabbitohs attack. They're taking some energy out of the Rabbitohs early. Yeah, well, last year couldn't have been a worse start, really. But they learned a couple of things from the defeat at the hands of South in this finals and against Melbourne last year. The defence wins, wins football. Intensity and continued aggression. And South did it to them just a couple of weeks ago. So the bomb is taken by Taff. It came off someone's head, I think. And that was smart play by Nathan Cleary. The development of Nathan Cleary, as we can all see. He knew his players were under pressure. His forwards were under fatigue. For four tackles, it was all outside backs. You just get forward. Then a hit up late. But then on the end of it, he produces pinpoint kick. Really great halfback play there by Nathan Cleary. Well, their first few attacking raids, they've gone left. But if they know that Benji Marshall is now on the other side, I'd be surprised if they don't set something out to attack the right-hand side of the field in this set. Well, that dropout, it certainly came down close to this touch line. On the western side, Toto got the job done. Fisher-Harris for Cleary. Cleary, a double pump to Leota. Inside 20, now he's down to the 10. And here they come again, the Black Panthers. No score in the grand final, 16 gone. Six more for Penrith. So the pressure becomes intense on South Sydney now. Yeah, just sharpening the axe here, you can feel it. Coruscant in his third grand final, giving it to James Fisher-Harris. They're just off the line, a couple of metres away from the, the Caxton Street end try line. Cleary decides to have a go. So he takes on the line. There's the try line right in front of him, two metres away. And here's Isaiah Yo. Same, same distance from the try line. Taken down by Kalamatangi. So it's a run from dummy half that came short. Played then by... Coruscant was. Now for Luai back. Burton's into a hole and he's into the in goal area for a try. 
Well, they've forced three line dropouts already on tackle five plays, but this time they decide to run it on tackle five and they get the reaction from the South Sydney defence they were looking for. Andrew, take us through this one. Yeah, they run the, the ball in the last play. Harvey Norman replay. Campbell Graham will come flying in on the decoy and the winger, Jackson Paulo, he stays out. You saw Campbell Graham there. He gets a rush of blood. Comes flying in. This will show it perfect. Watch the centre. Jersey four. He'll come flying in. No need. And Burton just gets him on the outside. Well, in previous weeks, that's what Campbell Graham has been doing. He's been coming in to help Reynolds. You remember last week against Manly, they ended up getting away with it on, a, on an obstruction call. But Campbell Graham was beaten on the outside by Tom Trebojevic. The try disallowed. This time, Panthers get the angle better. Telstra fan cam, young Panthers cheering on the try. But that was perfectly worked. They saw the weakness last week against Manly and picked them off this time. You'd have liked that execution, Jonathan Thurston. Yeah, certainly it did, Gus. And they peppered this left side on their fifth tackle the last few times they've been down here with their kicking. And that put Jackson Paulo into a bit of a pocket. So when he comes up, he's got that distance between him and Campbell Graham. And Luai just puts it on a platter for Burton to score. Well executed by the Panthers. Campbell Graham here comes in across Reynolds. He yeah, goes he does across it. the front of his He does it to protect him all back. the time. And, you, and with Reynolds having that injury before the game, you know he's going to get protection from inside and out. So if you keep going to that pressure point and varying who does the decoy run and in what angle you run, You've got options both inside and out. They executed it perfectly there. Jerome Luai, perfect pass. Burton, perfect run. Cleary looking for the perfect kick. Yep. So, welcome back. The grand final from Suncorp Stadium in Brisbane. And the Panthers draw first blood 6-0. Telstra is proud to be the naming rights partner of the NRL Telstra Premiership for 20 consecutive years. And to celebrate the milestone, Telstra is committing over 100,000 to junior rugby league clubs, which will be announced during the post-match presentation tonight. Again, thank you, Telstra. Yeah, Viliam and Kikau on the ground. And Liam Martin has stayed out there, so I'd say that one of the front rowers has been given a spell. So Kikau started off the bench. You can see him standing out there as an edge forward. Cleary outside the room. Oh, the bounce is horrible for South. And it's wonderful for Panthers. They're a few metres away, but that was a, a high-pressure moment for the Rabbitohs. Once you commit, you oh, cannot hesitate. They go, both looked at each other then, the winger and the fullback. Yours. Just cannot hesitate at all. Once you commit, you've got to go on with it. Burgess now. Tom out there in 16. And both coaches have gone to the bench. We've got a lost ball here. So kick out. Okay. Referee stopping it. Uh, Joy Arrow with his first run of the, of the game came up. I don't know whether he's taken a knock, but he dropped the ball straight away. The trainer, well, there's nothing for the head there, I don't think. No, he's just lost the ball. It's on report. Contact's high. Billy Army. Yeah, he's on the just clips him on the way down. But so he lost the ball before that. Let's see. There's nothing on the head there. He loses the ball. Then there's contact with the head. The contact with the head did not cause the, the drop ball. No contact with head here. Ball probably stripped. Then there's slight contact with the head on the way down. 
it's a big bicep to get clipped by. Look at the size of those arms. Well, you wouldn't want to be clipped by it. So he's going for an HIA. Plenty being set between Jai Arrow. He was screaming a kick out then. So keep an eye on this. When he comes back on the field, Jai Arrow, he's not happy. I think kick out just nodded that he's saying a prayer for him. Jai Arrow might have been aggressive, but Billy Army wasn't. So it's a good line finder. Right on the halfway line. And so Graham takes the tap. To the 40 metre line and then forced back by an aggressive uh, defensive pattern from Penrith. Burgess. Quarter of the game gone. Reynolds to the line. Walker fends through. Goes further. Still going. He'll go all the way. Walker scores for Souths. Brilliant. Dally M, 5 8 of the year. I told you earlier he debuted at 25. And he's done this time and time again to opposition teams through his rather short history in the top grade. He says thank you. Well, the Panthers are a very hard side to go around. Harvey Norman replay, they're a very hard side to go around because they'll back off and pedal back. And Cody Walker senses that. Show and go, straight through the middle. People don't make up their ground on the inside. That is a huge confidence builder for the 5'8 in a big game, Andrew. Well, they've had no ball. 35% of the ball, the Bunnies. And the first time they've got down Penrith's area, Cody Walker on the Harvey Norman replay just says, give me the ball. And he targeted Nathan Cleary. He made it personal. Whether Nathan was protecting the shoulder or not, there's a Telstra fan camp. Very happy Bunnies supporter, but he took Nathan straight on. But that, that's a big play for Cody Walker. You know, he's he's been in big games before and probably been overshadowed, but so much of South Sydney depends on him tonight, and that's a really aggressive sign. Show and go, pull through the line, and into the backfield to score a, a game-levelling try. Cam Smith? Yeah, well, that's a man playing with a lot of confidence, isn't it, Gus? He's had an outstanding season so far, and you're right. Penrith were just backing off on Cody Walker because he likes to take the ball deep into the defensive line and then play out the back to his, his outside men, but he just said, no, I'll do all this myself. That's a great grand final try. Oh, it's a brilliant one. Remind me of the Stacey Jones try back in 2002. Six all. My other concern was the Panthers fullback, Dylan Stop Walker. We, we know he's had injections to play today, but he was so easily wrong footed at fullback there by Cody Walker and actually twisted a little bit awkwardly. It's normally a tackle he'd come up with, but he, he didn't even get a hand on Walker. Just wondering whether or not that injury is probably a little bit more serious this time around. That's Kalamatangi. They desperately needed that South. Andrew pointed out they hadn't had any ball. So when they did get a bit of football, the Reynolds-Walker combo clicked into action. Six more there. And a host is out there for South. Jonathan Thurston. Yeah, great news for the South Sydney Rabbitohs. Dane Gagai has passed his HIA and will be on the field shortly. Say that again. Jonathan with uh, Dane out. It's a really big hole in the South Sydney side. He's a wonderful player. First grand final. He's played a heap of origin. I think 19 origin and seven test matches. And here's Reynolds trying to sneak through the tackle of Yo. Cook is able to push Coruscant away once and stand and deliver. And Reynolds puts it down towards the uprights. 
And Talk Edwards will get Isaiah. back to the 20. Isaiah. So there were Penrith players offside, so you're not allowed to take off. Well, again, Here Andrew, Adam Reynolds with a show and go on the left-hand side of the field, and he pulled through. You don't see Adam Reynolds doing that. More of a kicker and a passer. But the downside for that, he got tackled on play five. Couldn't get a, an organised kick away. Looking dangerous with the ball. The bunnies. So kick out. Oh, at the 30 metre line. And another of the bruised brothers there, Kalamatangi. As Penrith bring it away and meet the reception from South Sydney. That's Momorowski in three. Kalama Tungi looked like he was fired out of a cannon there. Really got up quickly on Burton. Both coaches going to the bench very early in this game. Played at a frantic pace. So Sorensen playing the ball on his first run of the night. He's just come on. He's tough. Let's go down to Cameron Smith there again on the sideline, mate. The intensity of this, can you feel it from down there? I mean, is this a, a step up to what we've been seeing? Yeah, absolutely. A step up from what we've seen for the best part of this whole season, Gus. And both teams, they are out on their feet, but they're throwing a lot of energy into their defensive. I feel as if the Rabbitohs can just continue to take a little bit of this punishment that Panthers are dishing out defensively and complete high. They, they'll be in a very good position going into half time. Burgess. Groan of the crowd. Jai Arrow back. He must have passed his HIA. Arrow and kick him. And that's Jacob Host just outside his own 30 metre line. Walker now kicking. Left foot kick. Good. Down to Edwards. Solid. Outside 30. Looking at the 40. Pulled down by Cook. So here's Crichton. 21, year, 21 years of age. One of those lads from Mount Druitt. Proud of it. And Toto. From the same, from the same mountain. As we see Sorensen taking the ball up to the 30 metre line. Then for Coruscant. Open side play, Yo. Then Cleary held it up and then gave it to Edwards. A little in and away, but it was of no... No value with Walker making the tackle complete. And again for Cleary's right foot. Cross field kick. Graham underneath it comes down with it beautifully. Brilliant take. Brilliant take. Just watch the Panthers defenders here, how they pick up and carry their opposition. Constantly pushing them around in the play the ball to slow it down. Pick up, drive, sideways, backwards. Jai Arrow. Heads away, Isaiah. Nathan, Paul, hold. So he's passed that HIA as Cameron Smith was telling us this is Dane Gagai and they're not, uh, they're not taking it easy on him as Cook makes a dart from dummy half. He's got to really be, he's got to be at his best, Damien. He's a real key. That ball might have touched Edwards on the knee. Whether, whether or not they would deem it played out, I'm not sure. We don't, yeah. no, we don't have to worry about it now, though. He's out to the 20. Yeah, and he just got his feet back in field to catch that. Jonathan Thurston. Yeah, we're talking about the frantic pace. I've noticed with the Bunnies, the kick pressure on the fifth tackle of Nathan Cleary is not good enough at the moment. So he's been able to land those kicks right on the money and put the Bunnies under a lot of pressure. Sorensen. Of course, the surname well known to Cronulla. Move, Kian. Hold here, Adam. Dane and Kurt. Hold, go for. Inside the 40 metre line, then for Cleary to hesitate and come back and around the ruck and work on the other side where kick hour is based. And he'll play the ball just outside the 30 metre line. Here we go again in the air. So here's the kick from Cleary going high. And down towards Johnston. Seldom makes a mistake. So he's got some capable company back there with him. The, uh, the young fullback in his eighth top grade game, Taff. Johnston one side, Graham the other. 
And here he is now, the number one going for a run. This is Gagai. Just starting to see some signs of fatigue now. Almost half an hour gone in the game. 29 minutes to be precise. And Arrow. And it was kick out, the last tackle in. Probably deserved a, a call of hell a little bit earlier. He was going nowhere and showing no interest in unloading the ball. And then he took one in the kidneys from kick out, who, who probably wasn't necessary, but it was quite legal what he was doing. To oh, bounced out of the tackle, got it away to Crichton. It's Kalal Matani again. So now Crichton gets it back to Cleary. And they've got inside the 30-metre line for Coruscant. Now for Luai. He dances to host. Gets it to Edwards. Ball goes to ground. South's counterpunch. That was a great read there from Alex Johnson. Negative His centre area. partner. Knock on. Dane Gago. He was caught in field. So they were short on that side. Alex Johnson shows his experience. Short for numbers. Watch Johnson. Top of the screen. You'll see the threat. Charges in. Forces the error. They, they were in real trouble there, South City. The first two plays on kick reception, the Panthers made about 40 metres with a couple of offloads. And you could just feel the South City were back on their heels. Just got through saying you can see the, the first signs of fatigue. It's more in South Sydney than we see in the Panthers. And that was a let off that the Panthers dropped the ball. South need to get a little bit of oxygen in the lungs here. Make sure they complete this set. Look out. Oh, drop ball. Yep. Light tap. Panthers swooping in. Light tap. That's what I mean, fatigue. Pull up. As soon as it starts drop to get into up. your head and you feel with those who want to breathe and you just want to relax or take time out, then you'll come up with an error like this. This side, mate. You Nathan, just get the feeling. Up here, boys. Up here. Wait for Look at this, straight from the like... scrum base. That, 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 that's fatigue. That's just lack of concentration. So, again, a real pressure coming here for South. Scrum win, 10 metres out from the line, right in front. And Sorensen's the number 15, he's number nine, the dummy half playing the ball. So the 17 is Martin. Upright tackle, Coruscant goes in. It struck the feet of the South Sydney player. It's a bit of penalty. He's given it, he's given it for creating an impediment or an obstruction for the attacking side. Well, it's great work by Liam Martin because he's being wrestled by three South Sydney players but manages to get the ball to the ground and play it quickly. Coruscant knows he's on a run to nothing. He knows how Sydney markers are offside. The referee just waited to see whether or not he scored a try. Watch Martin here. He's being wrestled, wrestled, wrestled. Gets it to the ground and that. plays it. Jaya gets his feet to the ball. Now Coruscant knows he's on a free run. It's either a try or a penalty Nathan, kick for goal. Going for two. Going for two. The Rabbitohs regroup. We'll have a break. So back to the grand final. Wayne Bennett to his 10th grand final and has won seven championships and Nathan Cleary will take them two in front. Back at six all and Nathan Cleary off the back of the penalty to take them to eight six. So 8-6 in favour of the Panthers. Seven minutes of the first half remaining. Yeah, I, I think this period up to half-time could be crucially important. Crucially important for both sides. South Sydney haven't seen much of Penrith's end of the field. They've been really brave in holding on. 
Panthers just seem to be finishing the first half stronger. So the Reynolds restart has gone as deep as it could go, really. And Martin comes rumbling back out to the 10-metre line. Hold here. Go one. So Coruscant for top off. A try a piece in this battle so far. Sorensen, Fisher House. We just saw the stats there. Panthers have had 60% possession. Only lead by two. So that's a credit to the South Sydney Courage. It was a run for Capewell, not Fisher Harris. And Cleary. It's the kick down to the youngster. He lets it bounce. And Taff is on his way back. But Luai has got eyes for him. And Capewell makes the tackle. Bound for Brisbane next year. So Reynolds and Capewell will join forces with the Broncos. As Gagai is put down by kick out and Luai. 30 metre line, south end, Kalamatungi. Penrith. Leading eight six as the ball goes through the hands out to Johnston. Last six games, Penrith have won five. But of course, South won the, the most recent one. And perhaps the most important one. This is Cleary with the ball, tackled by Cook. Ten metres out Hold. from his own line. No with the Telstra tracker, top five distance tonight. Cleary, Momorowski, Liam Martin, Kurt Catewell, Jerome Lloyd, okay. all Penrith players. Go to. Now for kick out. Well, it's certainly lived up to expectations, hasn't it? It's been very aggressive. Cleary inside the 40, the call from Sutton. Down to the 10. And Johnston comes back. They're just relentless with this kick and chase pressure. This is Graham just outside the 30 metre line. A fraction under four minutes of the half remaining. On their own 40, played by Paulo. Now for Murray, short for Arrow. And Jai plays the ball. It's gone to Reynolds who shapes to kick and then is able to beat a couple. Comes across to the right-hand side for Kalamatangi. He can't get rid of it. He's held by Luai and Burton, who got the try for Penrith much earlier on. And now Reynolds. Oh, Luai. Got a shot on Reynolds. It looked legal. Now it's with Edwards. And he's out towards the 40-metre the line on his own end. Tackled by Graham. This is Burton giving it on. Cleary is with the ball. This is Momorowski stepping and stuttering his way down towards the halfway line. Some tired defence there. What a what a, a touch of good fortune for Momorowski. He was the, the exchange player from the Tigers to Melbourne to make way for Grant to come and play with the Tigers last year. Here he is in the grand final. Momorowski, well done. Now for Lua. Running a half circle and almost getting through, and then Walker bangs him into the turf with some help for Murray. So a long ball to clear his boot. Oh, what a take by Kalamatangi, is it? He caught that at first slip. Well, that was a Mark War or Bobby Simpson catch. Fired it like a bullet. Could have easily knocked that on. The Panthers again. Picking up and driving in the tackle. Rabideau struggling to make metres. Good take that. Talking to Scott Sattler yesterday, he assured me Dad would be watching John, the famous South Sydney captain. Tough as they come. 
watching from his uh, place of abode on the Gold Coast. Here's Reynolds doing well. A run for Paulo. He's got speed. Oh, kick out. Great cover tackle. Got rid of by Luai. Back to Edwards. Long to Cleary. On the 30, it's gone away to Crichton. Throws a dummy. Goes up and takes the bomb. Great play. Minute to go in the first half. This is crucial. So this is Capewell. And he's running along the halfway line before stepping into the waiting arms of Burgess. Away it comes again now for Yo, and he basically says, well, there's nobody there, I'll take it to ground. Coruscant to Sorensen. Sorensen inside the 30-metre line. They've got 40 seconds remaining as the ball goes from Coruscant to Cleary, and a no-look pass on the inside for Edwards. Played again to Coruscant, then Leo to now Cleary. And looking as they might have gone for a shot. Yeah, it's gone to Leota. Leota gets it away. Coruscant puts a kick in. That might have been knocked on there, but the referee said no play on. Wow. Walker it was that saved the day back there. I just thought that might have been a little knock on. It's host with the ball. Rapid fire. This will be the last play of the half. Rabideau's out on their feet. They've done really well to hang in here at 8-6. Gagai tackle, and the half ends with the Panthers and the Rabbitohs. A try apiece, but a penalty goal to the Panthers. They're leading at the break, 8-6. You can see there plenty of support for the Rabbitohs as they head back out onto the pitch at Suncorp. The big question now, will it be the Panthers or the Rabbitohs who have their name forged in the history books? As the NRL champions of 2021, check out the Premier shirts and caps range at nrlshop.com and celebrate with your own piece of history. The second half now ready to get underway, and that means it's back to wraps. Thank you, James. We come back with a shot of, of Adam Reynolds, the kid from Redfern, who used to kick the ball around trying to hit the, the stop signs and what have you. Uh, just on the outskirts of Redfern Oval. He dreamt of playing for them. And here he is in his grand final with his departure to Brisbane, basically coming at midnight tonight. He'll exchange this jumper for the Broncos jumper. He and Cody Walker combining to put Cody in for one of the tries scored in the first half. The other by Matty Burton through a big hole. But this grand final, delicately poised. 8-6 in favour of the Panthers. What do you see in that crystal ball, Gus? Well, South Sydney need possession, and they need to get the game at the other end of the field. They've been very, very courageous at their own end, but the Panthers have had them locked in pretty much for the whole first half. The encouraging sign is South Sydney only really got one look at Panthers' end of the field, and that man there split them and scored a try. If they can just get more ball at the other end and put some pressure on the Panthers, the whole dynamic of this game changes. This first 10 minutes is crucial. Well, Penrith taking a two-point two margin into the second half, and the first carry of the second half was for Campbell Graham and now for Tom Burgess. One of three re remaining or surviving from the 2014 Grand Final. Won by Souths, of course, after a wait of something like 43 years. And that is Sewer. Six more flop. Close to halfway. Now to his partner. Six more again. Kalamatangi. Release it, Moses. Eight six in favour of Penrith. Murray handing it along the line to Burgess. Kick out. Involved in the tackle again. Started from the bench. Reynolds. Just beyond the 30-metre line now. Cook. Murray. Behind Burgess. Walker. In from the back. Taff. So Reynolds. For Burgess. Last tackle. 
Reynolds is looking inside. He goes out. Walker, Gagai, a tap on. It's gone into touch. Well, that was a chance. They ran it on tackle five. Panthers held strong and in the ball. end probably forced the error over the sideline. No thought of a kick. Out the back, favourite left-hand side play. Panthers backing off and it was Crichton that came in very, very quickly to force the issue. But a better sign there for South Sydney. Souths. You don't need to be told about their lethal left side. Absolutely. And you know, tell the tracker here, it gets the average intensity. Panthers are pretty much controlling the field position and South Sydney are actually performing at a greater level than they have all year. So whether or not they've got the energy to keep that going for 80 minutes, it's interesting the intensity of this game and who's forcing the pace. Yo! Seemed to run a long way before he found defenders on the halfway line, Cleary. This kick uh, down to Young Taff. Just his eighth game. The human chair offered to the South Sydney youngster. So now Paulo, another of the youngsters, the birthday boy, taking the second carry and Graham the other. There's a little scuffle going on off camera. Let's take an injury update from Emma Lawrence, Emma. Well, Rabs, in the first half, Jai Arrow came off after getting a high shot from Viliami Kickout. They used the free interchange. He looked fine, so came back on. But then he had delayed symptoms, so he's come off for an HIA check. And he's got five minutes left on that assessment. So we'll keep you updated, Rabs. Thank you, Emma. She's doing a fine job down on the sidelines. And there's Dylan Edwards coming away with Burgess up around his... Up around the neck area, but it's a penalty going. It's a penalty going to South. Dylan Edwards gets a little bit of assistance from his own man in the line here, and assist to Shepherd. This will be an opportunity to see if Kate will get himself in the line there, and Murray handles it really well to draw the penalty. Does he what? He's been getting tips off the owner, Russell Crowe. <laughs> that, that was. We'll take a break. So, Adam Reynolds to level the score. Eight six in favour of the Panthers. About to become eight all. A familiar scoreline. Yeah, it's a good sign that Adam Reynolds is back goal kicking too. He took that groin injury into the preliminary final. He didn't goal kick that night. The South Sydney fans happy to be back level again. And that's a, that's a different start to the second half than what we saw to the first half. All level. Still all the play for both sides. Yeah, right, well, that's that decision gone. But the thing that started... Just unbelievably, the, the bunting we can get rid of that. this match has attracted. Don't flop the in. government, of course, having to impose a restriction of less 25% on Don't the game. Run. So there's a crowd probably around 38,000 here. But the colour and uh, the noise that they're generating could well be a full house at, say, 54,000 at Suncorp. It's a bucket list thing. It's Suncorp and Origin. You've got to get there and feel it if you can. But here they are with a grand final tonight. He's dropped this ball. He did. Yeah. And this comes from the pressure because the Panthers keep pushing South Sydney sideways and backwards in tackles. South Sydney have got to find a way to the ground a lot more. And every time they get wrestled and dominated in a tackle, it puts pressure on the next one. And it's just a stone cold drop from Sewer. Emma Lawrence with an injury update. Another update on Jai Arrow. He has been officially ruled out after that HIA assessment. So massive blow for South Sydney. 
That goes back, doesn't it, to the report on the kick out goal kick out. report. Yeah, he passed the HIA after that, but they're saying now he's got delayed symptoms. Here's uh, Penrith throwing it around, and Burton has attracted Paulo, and he had to make that tackle, the young man. There was a problem on the left side called an overlap. So Sorensen held down. Yo, behind a runner. And this is Capewell, 12 out. What a couple of years he's had. Then from Yo to Cleary, got it away, kick out, juggled the ball, puts it over the line, and it's gone forward. Yeah, he just got dragged down from behind Cleary, and kick out over, ran it a little. Good work by Cleary to push through the line. Created the opportunity, but desperate defence from the Rabbitohs. Cleary sees the half gap, surges through, they grab him, and the pass fumbles out forward. Once again, going to that side, you saw the centre, Campbell Graham, he goes right up past the ball, which opened up that corridor for kick out to go through outside Reynolds. Well, that's the pocket, Nathan Andrew, isn't it? Mm, that's where they're going. Well, I'll tell you who the most relieved man at the moment would be, be Jaden Sewer. Who put that ball down cold, which put Penrith on the attack. The other good part about it is that there'll be no argument about it. It's gone forward off the hands of Nathan Cleary. Here is Sewer, tackled by kick out. Burton up on the top. And then has come away from Cook. A flat ball across. Burgess on a short ball. Eight all the score in the grand final. You're watching it live and exclusive on nine. And that's a nice take by Edwards. Crichton. try against South when they last played and a try the first of the game against Melbourne both of them easy tries he won't score too easy a tries in what is going to be a glittering career I'm sure for Stephen Crichton kick out he's been busy now Burton skipping and hopping his way in fact going forward now well, it wasn't a bad game by Matt Burton yeah, and it's South Sydney's best defensive set at Penrith's end of the field. Penrith have now got a kick from their 40. Luai, he's got a big kick on him, the 5 8 Now Taff, and uh, three of them there to pull him down. Cleary looked like he wanted to own his right leg. Now Johnston. Full back a dummy half, Paulo. Andrew, South Sydney coming out of trouble. Can they continue with this one out stuff or they've got to move the ball? They've got to move the ball and they've got to hope for a penalty. The next penalty in this game is. Hold the phone, Johnston. Johnston steps out of a tackle and he can't beat that one from Capewell. That was a good example there. So Cook, a blindside dart. Now for Gagai, gets away from one. Pulled up by Yo and Crichton. Far better. Played back for Cook. And here's Reynolds, a charge down. And it's going to go into touch. That's out of so no knock on. I think that was Spencer Lini. Yes. Penrith ball. Penrith ball. Penrith play the ball. The Said it was a tackle. He wasn't charged okay. down. They're going to challenge this, are they? Okay. Joey. The on the on field call is that, that the Penrith defender is making a tackle and the ball has gone out off South. Well South if you pass it into him, it's six again. How can it be any different if you kick it into him? If he was passing that Spencer ball, Lee it would be six again. He's just making a tackle rather than a charge down. 
So it is not played out by Penrith. The challenge is he's unsuccessful. Saying, he's saying that he it's didn't play at the ball. Yeah, but that happens when you pass it. It's a play the I understand ball what you're trying to say. Well, the it's a stupidity in the, in the rules. It's an absolute stupidity in the rules, and it's a technicality that you don't want to be bringing out now. If he passed that ball into his arm, making a tackle, it's six again. The fact that he's kicked it, it's still got to be sixed again. If he's, if he, if he's up there trying to pressure the kicker, surely he's playing at the ball. Anyway, Penrith get the get the advantage, but I, oh, that's a stupid rule. That's a stupid interpretation of it. It's just stupid, isn't it? It's is stupid. <laughs> it's, stupid. It's, a, it's absolutely stupid. You're quite right. Well, South's got to be feeling dudded from that. Keep in mind, though, with a charge down, it's not a knock on. It restarts the tackle count, but it's not a knock on. So that that must be stupid as well. It's all stupid. <laughs> so here we are, just outside. The 30 and Cleary held there by Walker. Claiming there that Cleary was milking. I think he'd debate that. Lee New. Now for Cleary kicking into the into the corner. Graham will get under it again. He's been good in that department. Go on. Perfect. Perfect. But that but that's the advantage though. Like Rabbitohs were looking at a scrum feed inside the Panthers half. They get that call. Now they've got a line drop out coming off their own line. Over a technical ruling like that. We need a private eye looking at the rules. Down well, for the it, rule book. It's, it's a stupid anomaly in the rules. Cameron Smith. Yeah, well, they could probably feel a little bit hard done by there, the Rabbitohs. But as Jonathan Thurston mentioned in the first half, very little kick pressure there on Nathan Cleary. And look where he puts the ball. Centimetre perfect. Cameron, how would you have argued that with the referee? You'd have got over him, wouldn't you? I would have tried to twist his arm, Gus. Oh! And told him it was a knock-on. <laughs> it's in Queensland, too. <laughs> My God, that was a big tackle. Well, it's fired South Sydney up. They're sprinting off the line now. I think you'd have a problem with Judge Judy, Cameron. Everyone needs a Cameron Smith as captain. Here's Luai. And that's the 30 metre line. And he's grabbing at the head. Uh -oh. Come on. Come on, play the ball, Jerome. Come on, play it. Play Be it. better than that, Jerome. Play it. Play it. Well done. Good boy. So, oh. Marcus, Hulkian, go for. The 25 out from the line. Yo. Host making the tackle in jumper 15. Cleary into the corner over where Graham, uh, Campbell Graham is, and here's Sorensen. Hand over. Hand over. So Souths have repelled them. Hold here. Hold up, he's Spencer. And the Panthers looked a little disconnected throughout that set of six. Yo was forced to run on his own. He left his teammates behind. Marcus Square. Hold Kurt. Hold Kurt. Go run. To Tala. I think Wayne Bennett. He's going to have to go to his bench soon. I think Benji Marshall might have to play a lot more minutes than what he thought with Joe Arrow going off. Here's Graham trying to fend away from Burton. Good young centre on good young centre. That's Sewer. Assistant coach Demetrio. He takes the reins after this. The super coach. He's taken four teams, four clubs to grand finals. If he can win this, he'll be the, the first coach ever to win three tournaments with three different clubs. Oops. Reynolds with an up and under. Burton juggled it, but it always was going back. The tackle made by Paulo. When South Sydney come to that left-hand side, they're really creating problems for the Panthers. They just need more possession. I think they've created more problems for plenty of clubs in this competition with what we used to call the lethal left. Maybe it's lacking a fella called Mitchell at the moment, but it's still... It's white hot. Cook just a head clash. 
The 14 is on May. Kick out down that left side. Tyrone. Another. Another of 13 players in this side that debuted with Penrith. Six more tackles. Burton's got the ball. There's a problem for Souths. Yeah, they've got a result out of the bomb. They're 10 out. They're in front of the sticks. May, Cleary, Cleary, Edwards, Edwards, Momorowski, big right foot step, Cleary with a left foot step. He'll play the ball nine metres away. Tackle one, the HIA. Three. Tackle one. Three calling a halt. Oh, for Damien Cook. Tackle one, to HIA. It's always the defensive team that calls Nathan the HIA. Cleary's got the ball. Frantic action. Well, this is big. Panthers 10 metres out. First tackle. 55 metres gone. Cook here. Sorry. Probably got a little know, you you elbow in the jaw in. there, I think. On the right. I just want to just pass there. on my condolences to the Irvine family. Bob Irvine passed away this morning. He's a mad Tigers fan. Best wishes to his family, his wife Floss, and the, the rest Stay of the family. Square. Pass on all our best. We've got five tackles up oh, their sleeve. On. This was one of the captains, Isaiah Yo. You can see the base of the uprights. Close up shot. Penrith with Corosau. Part of the Rabbitohs victory in 2014. That's a long ball to Cleary. Gone to Luai, gone away to Toto. After Burton got a touch. Reynolds making the tackle on a surrender. Now Yo, they're trying to break the South's defense, which at the moment is winning the battle, but cannot resist this. Cleary, Edwards with a tap on. It's gone Edwards. forward off him. Great pressure by South City. Now that was tackle five. They conceded a try on tackle five run in the first half. This time they were more alert. Got really aggressive off their line and forced the error. Thanks, mate. Still under plenty of pressure right at their own end of the field. You were saying before, the next penalty in this game is going to be huge. Both teams struggling to get their plays on with that live footy, with that kick reception footy, especially South. If they can get a penalty, they can fall into that structure. Well, that would be hard, hard to hold out if they get a penalty in that field position. Only four penalties in the game, Andrew. 2-2. Two, two. Penalty count. Nichols. 20 metres out from his own line. It's certainly been on the wrong end of the... the statistic that deals with possession. At one stage, they were down 60 to 40. Even at half time, they were still well down, I think, 58 42. And that's probably why you'd, you don't remember seeing too much of the middlemen in what you would call the orthodox or conventional play, like you've just seen the eight, then the ten. But they're hanging in there, South. I mean, it's eight all. They've had no real possession at the other end of the field. They've got to force some errors down here. Here comes Brian. Put down by Sewer and Graham. Eight all in the grand final. 16 minutes gone. Second half. Make that 18. Pass my glasses, Joe. Burton. Crichton. Now Tyrone May. Who did he go on for? Have we worked that out? This is a high one. And beautifully done by Paula, but he's lost it in the ricochet of the tackle, and it's uh, forced in goal by Taff. Well, that's incredible. You'd have to think that the Panthers punched this out of his arm. It looked like Paulo had caught the ball. And then it came ricocheting out. Gus, can the bunker have it? a rule here? It can, can. Well, if that's come off kick out's arm, it's a knock on, but not that I agree with that interpretation, but he's on caught the, the ball. Here, and then kick out punches. 
Time you run. So we've got another line drop out. Rabbitohs cannot take a trick. Big drop kick. 55 metres on the fly. Yo bringing it back. And met by the 8 and the 10. To Dollar and Nichols. To play to Coruscant. Then for Cleary. And this is Lee New. 30 metres out. Here they come again, the men in black. May behind one. It's gone from Cleary to Lu Luai and then Burton. Nine out. Adam Reynolds, he does a really good job here because he gets caught up with the decoy runner and he half appeals to the referee for an obstruction but then backs himself and sprints to the threat. Campbell Gray makes the initial tackle. Watch Reynolds. He gets caught up with kick out. He appeals, puts his hands up, then sprints to the threat. Forces the error. They just keep hanging on South Sydney. They've been incredibly tough. Well, they've had no luck, Andrew, have they? Nothing. Had a number of calls go against them. Cam Smith. Well, Gus, they've been very brave tonight, haven't they, the Rabbitohs? So I think they're going to have to look for a momentum changer, a game changer here. Maybe I'm thinking an early kick from uh, Reynolds, maybe in behind Brian Toto on the right-hand side for the Rabbitohs, just to try and swing a little bit of control in this game for the Rabbits. A 40-20, perhaps. This is Nichols. And maybe it, it might be a, an occasion for Benji. So Nichols. To Tyler. We've gone past uh, three quarter time. 61 gone. Reynolds high. Way, way down to Edwards. Born in one of those New South Wales country centres that Penrith have got several of the boys from the country of New South Wales. That fella from Albury finished up up around Dorigo. Good player, Dylan Edwards. Momorowski almost overran the occasion. Edwards up to dummy half. To oh, 10 metres there for him. Eats up the metres. Martin. Just looking at the stats. Cam Murray after 60 odd minutes. 43 tackles. Cleary looking to break. He does. He puts a ball over for May. May gets the kick in. It skews around and comes away with Taff. That's their best kick pressure of the game. That's their best kick pressure of the game. They've got it back on their own 40. Reynolds should get an attacking kick at the end of this set. They say the, the maestro is going to his, his bag of tricks. Sewer. And again, kick out. Cutting them down. Almost in the centre of the ground. Totola. 14 is May. 63 gone and 8 all the score. Gagai picks up the rolling ball. Gets away from Momorowski. Runs around Coruscant. So here's Walker. A little tap and go. But it's come down to the Panthers. That's Capewell. Back on his own 20 metre line. And here's Toto again. Yeah, that might have been a little rush of blood. I needed to kick that down towards the end goal. Edwards. Gripping match. Crichton. Cleary, May. Last tackle, Luai on the last. 
high into the corner of Paulo. And they'll try and put him into touch. He has put him into touch, Burton. Well, how many results have they got from kicks tonight? Four or five line dropouts, a couple of fumbles. It's and again, the, the young South Sydney it's back three middle. are put under enormous ball. pressure. Paulo takes the catch, but Burton just throws him out over the sideline. And they're on the attack again. Working back there, working back there, Toddy. That could be a big, big play. They've got to play the ball in the middle of the field. Looking at these South Sydney players across the line on the wide shot. Just starting to look tired again. There's Liam Martin. Help! Release Cameron. Go one. May. Now Cleary. No look. Edwards tries to reel out of it. Pulled down by Gagai and Walker. Lofted ball. Cleary gets it on. Oh, knocked on by Tyrone May and Souths have done it again. Well, that's a let off, but it's got to keep fueling the South Sydney confidence. The Panthers have had so much ball at their end of the field. Pretty much every 50 50 call and bounce has gone with the Panthers, but the Rabbitohs keep hanging in. We're less than 15 minutes from full time. It's still 8 all, and South Sydney's defence has been so courageous. Now we see this. A little bit of frustration, a little bit of tightness leads to an error. Can South Sydney capitalise? They need the ball at the other end of the field. Graham, taken by three of the Panthers. Nichols, oh, Liam Martin with their arms involved. Jonathan Thurston. Yeah, Rabs with the bunnies. They've got two interchanges left. I'm wondering with the middle forwards there, Benji Marshall could come into the game and be the game breaker that they need. JT, if you get down there with South, would you take a field goal this far out? No, no chance. Too long to go. I'd certainly want to be kicking it through the corners. Oh, yeah, it's an intercept for Crichton. Crichton, he's away. Is he away with the Premiership? Stephen Crichton scores. A try now in three finals. Yeah, it was just the wrong pass. They actually had Gagai in the hole and didn't need to throw it to the winger. And Crichton with such long levers, he was caught out and decided to make a snatch for the ball. And that is a massive play. South Sydney just getting back into it. He's got Gagai in a hole. He doesn't need to throw the long pass. Harvey Norman replay. Crichton picks him off. So, what, what are you thinking now? 12-8, the Panthers with the kick to come. Gus? They've always looked dangerous down this side. They had Gagai in the hole. He decided to play long. And Crichton was in no man's land, but such long levers. And we know he's a great basketballer, great catcher. He makes the snatch. That was six points either way. I think if that goes past him and Johnson catches it, they're off and gone, South Sydney. But it was the wrong pass selection. He doesn't often get it wrong, Walker. See the disappointment on his face now, and clearly gives him a little bit of a yee-haw. And the two halves go at each other. That's just frustration, but Crichton, he makes the pick. Tells to fan cam. Very, very happy, the Panther kids. And that was a well, that was whether it was going to be your day or my day moment. That was it's an all in play, wasn't it? Yeah, it's it's yeah. your day or my day. So Cleary to take it out to 14 to 8. Crichton, another one of the youngsters from from Mount Druitt. He and Tyler on Sunday apparently they went for a, an eyebrow wax.
Yeah, just Imagine what Tony Radonikas is saying about that. Ned, Ned Kelly, an eyebrow wax. That's that's the new culture. Yep. Under 12 to go. Burton. And it brings the field goal into play now for the Panthers. They could wrap it up with a one-pointer. South have got oh, 11 and a half minutes one. to find a try. Toll. That's so unfortunate for Cody Walker. He's been terrific. Fisher Harris. Team of the year. Martin, another of the country kids. Just on their own side of halfway. Harris again, Fisher Harris. Last tackle, Marcus. Isaiah, oh, go. Last. Penrith in their fifth grand final. They won it in 91 with the father. In fact, it was 91 after they'd lost it in 90 to Canberra. They lost one to get it back in 91 under Gus. And of course, 03, it was the Langs, John and Martin. The father-son combination. History isn't repeating itself. The clear is in front by six. Cameron Smith, can you see if Benzi Marshall has gone out there yet? Oh, well, there he is. Yeah, he's, yeah no, he's just got on the field, Gus. He, he touched the ball, so look for plenty of touches in this final 10 minutes for Benji Marshall. He gave a ball then to Reynolds and kick out. Swatted him like a fly. The defence from the Panthers has been relentless. They've been very quick up all day, but it's been relentless. Edwards at the back. It's a good story, isn't it, Momorowski? Yes. You're an exchange, exchange player one day and you're in the grand final <laughs> the next. And you don't even go home. <laughs> I like those ones. Yes, I I've, I've read the history. <laughs> 40 metre line. Cleary, chaser, high, and Taff is with the ball. And this is where they've been far superior. The first tackle, and then the next tackle on this play too. Stopping the outside backs getting forward. As Gus says, they pick him up, they drag him back. If you win those first two tackles, you pretty much win the whole set. Well, on the score of fairness, you hope Cody Walker gets an opportunity to square this up, don't you? It would be terrible for him if the game is decided on that one pass. Here's Sua making an extra. Graham Paulo. Paulo gets a kick in. Touch judge was OK with it. Bounces there for Cleary. Here comes Burgess, and he makes the tackle, Big Tom. Oh, that'll test the shoulder. Edwards. Surrender. Great play by Nathan Cleary. He got back there just in case. The Telstra tracker there, Rams. We can see the top speeds don't get to the normal time. It's been such a closely fought game. The top speed would have been Stephen Crichton running away for that intercept. But it's been a close quarters the whole contest. Not many long runs from anyone. Liam Martin, 32 kilometres. Is he on a skateboard or something? Has he run that fast? Might have been when he ran out. Oh, 
those dodgy speed cameras he gets me all the time. Johnston. Good ball. Now, Taff. Move to Rhodes. Is he tackled or did he run into something? He's appealing. Gagai. Gagai. Good run, Dane Gagai. Not hell. Is their chance. They've got some momentum in the first two plays. Yo made the tackle. Burgess away for a support. Cook. Cook. If he gets into the clear, it's shut the gate. Picked up by Gagai. Gives it to Reynolds. Masters on his inside. Sewers with the ball on his outside. Here they come. 25 away from the line. Down by six. They get a penalty. Well, here we go. They came up with the boot as the penalty reason. Where's Cody? Can we get get a side of Cody? See no, no tackles. Rudy's body going, which here they go. Well, he would be desperate to provide a pass for a try here. Yeah. He'll want the ball in his hand. Oh, Dylan, Dylan. 76 minutes gone. Marshall dropping it back for Totola. They're five away. Can they level? Walker across Gagai. Here's the try! South Sydney's try scoring freak, Alex Johnston, gets the try near the touchline. Well, it's their first visit to the Penrith end of the field, the whole half. Their first visit here, and Cody Walker manufactures a try on the outside to the prolific try scorer, Alex Johnston. The pressure. We'll watch the replay of the try, but the pressure now comes to Adam Reynolds to have to make the conversion. Walker goes to the line, creates the space. Gagai passes. Johnson gets it in the corner. It was Cody Walker who demanded the ball. Harvey Norman replay. Eyes up. Takes it to the line. Throws the ball out the back. Momorowski committed. Gagai shovels the ball. Crichton again in two, no man's land. A little bit of a juggle from Johnson, but he gets it down. But spare a thought now for Adam Reynolds, who is leaving the club at the end of the season. His last season with the Rabbitohs. Saw groin. He's got to kick the goal from the sideline, Rebs. Come to level the, it up. Come as the man, Gus. Well, you, so? you dream as a kick goal kicker. You dream of these moments. We saw, saw that piece in the pregame. Growing up at Redfern Oval. How much kicking on his own. He would have dreamt about this occasion, kicking the ball from the sideline in a grand final. This is absolutely incredible. The night, the night is pretty much about Reynolds in his last red and green jumper. Can he kick this to level? Four and a half minutes to go. The kid from Redfern, it's coming back. No, not enough. in favour of the Penrith Panthers. Alex Johnston has just eclipsed the previous record. Time you run, boys. tries in Time a season out. held by winger Les Brennan since 1954. He's broken the record and he's now become only the third player to score 30 or more tries. 30 or more tries in a season. One of the others in front of him was the great Dave Brown, an immortal, and the other was Ray Preston. That's the trio that have scored 30 or more, and Alex Johnston is number three. Well, Gagai's gone Tucker down two. here. South Sydney Tucker players two. were appealing for a penalty. They've only had two tackles with the ball. They've gone Tucker side two. to side. A penalty here would be a real bonus if they could get it. Let's have a look. Drag down from behind. Well, they've Stop given penalties for those all year. Burton gives him a love tap. No, mate, he just, no, he just slips into it. 
Yeah. They've, given, they've been giving penalties for those all year. Even though he's falling, first, he does make contact with the head. No, I can't be a penalty. Well, it has been all year. Mm. No, well, wonder, no wonder he's limping. Yeah. His he's body was all over the place. We got kick out. Well, I don't, I don't think it's a penalty, but they've been penalties all year. Tackle two, just make sure you're up, Liam. Have make they sure not? You're not too no, dead, you're yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. Tackle two, boys. <laughs> and they shouldn't be penalties all year. That way, you don't have to make this decision on grand final day that they're Tackle about two, to make. Damien. So they've said fair enough. Well, this is how the game should be refereed. This has been sensational. But a this sensational is, job by the referee. He has. He's done a great job. He has done a great job. There are games there have been a couple of stupid interpretations because of the rules, not because of the referees. And all year, that has been a penalty. Whether he's falling or whatever, they've penalised them all. Now, we've said they shouldn't penalise them. They say we should. Ooh. But if you can't penalise it on grand final day at 14-12, then Tackle it should never two. be penalised all year. And that's the point I've been making all year. Based on what happened all year, South should have got a penalty. I think you'll be making the point longer than just this year. Six to go. The ball is touched. Murray knocked down there. They'll get him back. Fisher Harris. Well, Benji passes the ball, and the South and the Penrith player knocks plays at the ball, and they ruled. Time off. Are they yeah, challenging him? They ruled not played at, and then the it, it wasn't until the Fisher Harris. Here it is. Here. No, he, he he hasn't, as far as I'm concerned, played at the football. There's this one here. Yeah, Fisher, Fisher Harris, Harris does. does. Fisher Harris. Oh no, he does. Yeah. I'm talking about the other one. Yeah. Time anyway, off. scrum feet. South have got to score a try. Oh, oh, Graham with a little juggle. Held oh, by Luai. Now for Burgess. It's got to come off, Cody. 14 12 and three and a quarter minutes to go. Reynolds, Walker, Walker with an in ball and South Sydney. Just for a moment, I thought they were going to break them through Murray. Out they come now to Reynolds. Reynolds to Walker. Oh, it's going into touch. Now, Souths are saying it came off them. They played at the ball. Big decision coming up here. Play the ball. Joey, you got anything on the touch? I think he's giving it yeah, to Penrith. Play the ball, Penrith. He's giving it to Penrith. Play the ball, Penrith. I think Tyron May gets a touch on that. So play the ball. Nathan Cleary, is it? Hold now. Might have got him on the arm. No tackles, what's the strips? Go, Massive no call. Two and a half minutes to go. Oh! Oh! Up square, Hit by Burgess oh, there. Penrith, though, with Edwards. Benji, trying to get it out to the 20-metre line. Go two. Penrith two. versus South Sydney. 21 Three premierships to the red and green. Penrith clinging to two points. Looking for their third, their third premiership. Edwards, just inside the 40. Under two minutes now. Cleary, let's find some safety. One set, South Sydney got one set. Johnston. Panthers, one set of defence to win the premiership. South Sydney, one try to win it. Gagai. Surrender! 30 metre line for Dane Gagai. Go two. Going home Go two. to Newcastle for next year. Sewer going to the Dragons. Reynolds to the Broncos. Capewell to the Broncos. And now Reynolds. Back it comes. Walker. Low tackle by Cleary. Play back to Gagai. Now there's a minute to go. It's with Totola. Is he thinking two-point field goal? Perhaps. From outside the 40, the field goal is worth two. And Reynolds hits it, but it's... Well, it's short, but it's bounced over. And that'll be it. That is the ball game. They'll get a seven-tackle set here, the Panthers. And provided they don't drop the ball... 
after the disappointment of last year's grand final. They'll come back 12 months later. Look at the face on Adam Reynolds. The coach looks like he's seen enough. What a gripping game of rugby league. What an outstanding effort from both sides. South Sydney so brave, didn't have anything go their way all night. But it would appear the young Panthers have come back 12 months later and they're going to carry the shield. Toto. 30 metres out from his own line. There's 20 seconds to go in the grand final between two Sydney sides played in Brisbane. Historic, yes. Incredible season, yes. The father and the son. Stand up. They appear to have done it again. But they had a hell of a lot of help from their friends. Of that, I can assure you. The Panthers celebrate. 13 of these blokes debuted with the Panthers. Six of them local juniors from places like St Mary's, Mount Druitt, Missionbury, Doonside. Well, they thought it was coming last year, and I know it's a fragile statistic to say you've got to lose one to win one. You know the feeling of it, Gus, and these people have had history revisited. Well, ever since full-time in last year's grand final, they would have been dreaming for this day. They haven't left a stone unturned, and for all the hard work and everything they've done, look at that, they've won by two points. If they'd have cut a corner at any stage of the season, if they'd have backed off at any, at any level, they don't win the comp. South Sydney so brave. Commiserations there for Adam Reynolds, who's leaving, but the euphoria of these kids, many of whom have been together in the club since they were 15, 16, 17 years of age, have come through junior rep teams together, through the academy, and to now years later claim a first grade premiership is just phenomenal for the club and the area. South Sydney so brave, a brilliant game of rugby league, but the Panthers will come back 12 months later to claim grand final glory. Well, there it hurts everyone. Absolutely. South Sydney can be very brave, very proud of their effort today. Had nothing go their way. It was probably the intercept that was the difference between the two teams. The Premiers of 21, the runners up from last year, the Penrith Panthers, the men from down the foot of the mountains. They've got their third, 91-03, and tonight.